Hi everyone, Tempest here from Times with Tempest. Thank you so much for stopping by. While you're here, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that we can hang out more often. I am currently standing in my foyer, so today's video is about my clearance foyer makeover. If you wanna see the final look, how I transitioned from taking all the Christmas decorations down to a more everyday decor look for the entryway here, be sure to stay tuned for more. So here is my mostly Hobby Lobby haul. You'll see that I have a Michaels bag and then some frames here and this little shadow box. I got those from the Dollar Tree. So all of this is for my foyer. You'll remember from my Costco haul video that I got the pillow that's gonna match this and you'll see why once I break this stuff out of the bag. So just let me pull it all out on the couch so that you can see it all. All right, so here we go. These, um, I got this pack of canvas. It's a super value. You get five for $10.99, and they were selling the same size in packs of two for $5.99. I could have got two for the same price, but it would have only been four instead of five. And I like to dabble with paint, so I'm gonna try to make my own abstract painting for over my little foyer console table. I used to have something there, but long story behind it, the painters broke the mirror and the scones. So I, it's just a blank wall and it looks terrible. So this is for my trial project. Um, this little cookie jar, something or another, I got from Hobby Lobby, you'll see. It was reduced to $6.24 and uh, the regular price was $24.99. So not bad. And then I got this set here. This is a short kind of fat one and this is a taller skinnier one i paid 9.99 for both of them and the regular price 39.99 um and this one was 34.99 so again not bad that was from hobby lobby obviously this isn't going to go in the foyer but most of the stuff in my kitchen is black and white so i'm gonna rock with that and put that somewhere i got this from the christmas 80 percent off sale for michael's 18 dollars originally 12 i think this was 10 so 80 percent off of all of this even though it was with the christmas stuff i grabbed it because i feel like it can last kind of all year round, any time of year. This is quite springy maybe with the light pastels, but we're gonna rock with it and see what we can get. So hang out with me while I do um, some playing around with all the stuff on the console table and let's see how it turns out. So this is what my foyer table looked like once I took all the Christmas decorations down. I went ahead and grabbed my new Dyson. Maybe I should make a video about that because it's pretty awesome. Say hi to Zoe, the Westie, who does not like the vacuum cleaner. But I took a moment just to kind of clean up. There was garland everywhere, so I needed to get that taken care of. <laughs> I went ahead and just got ready to take all of the stuff that was already there, some of my candles and a vase and got my pledge to wipe it down. There was glitter on the table from, again, Christmas decorations. So just want to make sure that I'm starting with the clean slate. Say hi to Cam, the pit bull. They never stay out of the way when I'm trying to record. This lamp is one that I grabbed out of a closet. I thrifted it a while ago. 
Um, so I just figured that it'd be nice to have a lamp. I don't love it. Maybe I'll do a makeover of that. But right now I'm just working on getting all of the price tags off of the items. That's my pillow from Costco and that love sign I had on a bookshelf somewhere else and it just didn't fit. It wasn't really in place. I think I may have gotten that from like the one spot or the dollar spot at Target. I don't really remember. I've had it for a while. I thought it'd be a great addition there. I wasn't sure what I was doing here, but now I remember that because all the items were, or most of all the items were brand new, the flowers and the little mason jar light thing, it had tags and stuff on it. So I was working with the scissors to get those things off and get them ready for the table. You'll see me playing with the marbles in the vase um, because I do a lot with faux flowers. I like to get the gems, the little marbles and things and put them in the vase just to glam it up a little bit. I've added the little bouquet and I think now I'm fumbling with the sticker that was on the bottom of that lamp. I also added one of my candles. It's Winter Candy Apple from Bath and Body Works. It's one of the seasonal ones that I got during Candle Day where I placed an online order because I was not brave enough to go to the store. Now that the lamp is set up, I just worked on getting the picture frames out of the shrink wrap um, and that little shadow box that came from the Dollar Tree as well because my goal was just placement. I didn't have pictures ready at the moment that I was putting this together. I didn't know which pictures I wanted to put there, so it was more so about where are the frames going to go, what's the setup going to be. I'm giving the table one glance over to make sure I'm pleased with it. I check to make sure that the lamp is operational. And what I end up doing is going to another room to grab another vase that was full of gems. I wasn't pleased with the amount that I had in this vase. And I knew that I had some different shapes, different sizes, and I wanted to try to get a good mix of them in this vase. Well, that was a complete fail because I thought that I'd just be able to shake it up to get them all mixed in, but that didn't really work because I had filled it up by that point. So I poured everything down on the floor and I just kind of pick up some of the small ones and then some of the large ones and just kind of go back and forth to get them all mixed in. I don't know what Cam and Zoe have going on at this point, but just getting the greenery back in the vase, um, I have reached the final step in the process of getting this table together. So I grab my handy dandy Dyson and just do another quick run through over the floor to make sure that it is clean.
So tell me what you all think of the final product. I got Cam and Zoe's pictures in there. And then that frame in the back is just some scrapbook paper with music notes. It's like a sheet of music that I'm using for art. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.